In this video tutorial, we will look at how to create our own subsets of materials or processes so that they are easily identifiable in selection projects, as well as how to save our preferred records as favourites. Let's open the Level 1 database and take a look at how to create our own subsets. Click on the Chart Select function. In Part 1, our selection data, let's open the drop-down menu where we can find, under Custom, Define your own subset. This opens the Custom Subset window. At the top, we can select which data table to use. We'll keep the Material Universe table selected. We can change the initial subset by using this drop-down. This list will depend on which database is selected. By default, the All Materials subset is selected. If we have a selection project active, we can choose from the selection attributes here. A material tree is displayed below, and we can select which material groups or materials we want to include in our custom subset. We can either start by using the default selection of All Materials, or we can deselect everything and start again. Let's deselect all materials by pressing on the box to the left of Material Universe. We can now start selecting our materials. Click on a folder to expand the tree, and press on the tick box to select it. Let's expand the polymers and elastomers, and select the elastomers. Open polymers, and let's also select thermoplastics. The tick box next to elastomers shows that all records below have been selected. The Polymers folder, however, has a filled-in box next to the name. This means some records within the folder are selected. We can also click on specific records to include or deselect them. Let's remove Butyl Rubber from our custom subset, then press OK. We can see that the results have updated and now show our custom list of materials. If we now create a chart or perform a selection, only these materials will be used. If we want to save this subset to be used in the future, we can save the selection project using the File menu. We can share custom subsets by sharing the project files. Let's now look at how to make certain records stand out by setting them as favourites. To do this, simply right-click on a record, for example ABS, and click on Add to Favourites. We can easily spot these records as a star now appears next to their name. Let's also add EVA, PET, and Teflon. Going to Chart Select, let's make a chart of density against price with our custom subset. We can make our favourite materials stand out by clicking on the Highlight Favourite Records icon here. We can save these favourites within the project file, or export as a file that other users of CES EduPack can import. To do this, use the Tools button, press on Favourites, and Import or Export. Finally, let's create a subset containing only your favourite materials. We will go back to Select From, and again choose to find your own subset, and from Initial Subset we can select Favourites, and press OK. Your favourites are now available as your custom subset, and the chart updates to show only the favourites. In the following video tutorials, we can see how to use the different tools and databases available in CES EduPack.